Namaste everyone. You will need two blocks and one blanket for today's practice. So we are starting with a modified sun salutation to arch the back a little bit more. Feet together, palms together. Take a full exhalation here. And as we inhale, we raise arms up, hips forward and reach back as much as you can. Exhaling, full forward bend. Inhaling, right leg back. And we want to keep breathing now. You might need two blocks next to the hip. Check front knee, ankle in line. Lift chin, chest up, look back. And then we want to try lifting back foot off the floor. And see how far you can come close to crown of the head. Press palms down and take a mountain position. Full exhalation, straightening the spine. We drop knees, chest and chin, taking Ashtanga. Inhaling, Bhujangasana. Check knees tight, lifting chin, lifting chest up. Navel is also off the floor. Elbows softly bend. Exhaling back to mountain. Take your time to straighten the spine. We step left foot forward. And again, see if you want to use blocks or hands on the floor. Lifting chin, lifting chest up. You might be somewhere here half away with your foot. And that's absolutely all right. Just stay wherever you can breathe. Just walk on going closer to the crown and crown reaching closer to the foot. Exhale, right foot forward, forehead to the knee. Inhaling, reaching back. Arching, you can have knee softly bent. Arms up, reaching backward. Exhaling, forward bend, forehead to knee. Left leg back this time. Walk hands back. Lift chin, chest. And now try lifting the back foot off the floor. See how much you can reach backward and foot is coming closer to the crown. Hands forward, back to mountain, straightening the spine. Knees, chest and chin, inhaling, sliding forward, lift up and reach back, always keeping the length on the spine. Exhaling, back to the mountain, chest close to thigh. Right foot forward, check knee ankle in line, feel free to use blocks once again, lift just upward and then try bringing foot to head, head reaching to the foot. Hands forward, left foot forward, coming closer to the knee. Inhale, reaching back. Arms can go wider. Exhaling, palms to chest. Okay, we'll try one more round. This is mainly to open up your thighs along with the spine. Take full exhale, forward bend, right leg back, walk hands back, reach up and bring back foot to the crown. Continue breathing, look forward, mountain, straightening the spine. See if you need to bend the knees if you are rounding. Drop knees, chest and chin. Inhaling, reaching up and backward. Continue breathing here. Exhaling, mountain. Tailbone to the ceiling. Chest to thigh. Left foot forward. Reaching back. Continue lengthening the spine. So you always want to keep reaching upward and then reaching back. 
back foot to the crown look forward right foot forward forehead to knee inhaling reaching back hips forward exhaling palms to chest left side inhaling arms up reaching back exhale forward bend left leg back walking hands back reaching upward and reaching back raising the ribs and let's lift the back foot keep trying to come closer to the crown releasing hands releasing foot mount it chest close to the thigh let's drop knee chest and chin in a hail reaching up once again navel is off the floor so we increase the arch exhaling mount it tailbone to ceiling right foot forward let's walk hands back creating arch and now see how much you can come close to the crown with the back foot keep breathing hands forward left foot forward forehead to the knee and let's stay here this time keep forehead to the knee interlocking the fingers behind the back and let's keep stretching the arms arms to the front wall hips to the ceiling keeping weight on the toe keep pulling arms as we continue exhaling longer exhale pulling arms even more forward let's drop hands down in a healing arms up reaching back exhaling palms to chest take few longer exhales here with the eyes closed or you can look somewhere close to you all right we'll come on the floor now we'll prepare for few dhanurasana and variations of it so we are coming on the chest now and we bend both the knees instead of pointing toes we want to flex the toes like this and we are holding ankles from inside so your wrist facing the side wall and now see how much you can kick your feet to the ceiling imagine you want to print your feet to the ceiling continue pointing toes down to the floor knees coming closer and kicking the feet up with every exhalation just reaching upward you can keep looking forward just give your full focus on reaching up with the feet reach up for one more exhale and we release okay relax everything and take few longer exhalation we are practicing classical dhanurasana but this time we hold foot from outside and let just press heels on the hip heels pressing onto the hip hands just below the toe this is mainly to stretch the thighs because flexible thighs are main component of deeper backward bend okay we lift chin and chest up and let's work on raising the feet up to the ceiling knees up thighs up try looking up to the ceiling lifting chin keeping the throat open give your full focus on picking your feet with the hand kicking legs up to the ceiling 
Keep the exhale longer as you kick and keep reaching. Take just one more breath here. Kick up. Exhale and we release. Face to one side. Let's just relax for a few longer exhalations. We are preparing for a cobra position with a deeper backward bend. So we have legs wide, knees really tight, hands next to the chest. And let's work on raising chin, raising chest, navel off the floor. Lift chin up, look back. Pubic bone stays on the floor, okay? So just see that's not getting lifted. Elbows are softly bent, legs are still tight. And we keep reaching up to the ceiling and reaching up to the back wall. Exhaling, releasing head down and take a little break here. We will try the same pose one more time. Okay. Let's prepare to go on full exhalation. Keep legs tight. Lift chin, lift chest, navel off the floor. You can try walking hands closer to the hips. Keep reaching upward, reaching back. Check shoulders. We are rolling back and down instead of moving forward. Pubic bone down, keep reaching with the exhale and let's release. This to one side, take a little break, relaxing everything. You also try to notice how you feel after a deeper backward bend. We'll try one more time. You can also use uh, blocks under the hands and see if that works better for you okay that will give you a little bit more elevation so hands under blocks hands shoulder in one line lift chin chest navel knees tight elbows are softly bent always in any backward bend okay and then we keep reaching take one full exhale and we release a little break here you can try practicing this one more time if you are up for it okay you might need a blanket under your hip bones so see if you want to keep that ready we'll be trying our full cobra position now the Purna Bhujangasana so legs are tight hands under the shoulder next to the ribs and let's lift chin lifting chest navel checking pubic bone never leaves the floor try walking hands slightly backward create a full opening on the chest and then try lifting your feet off the floor Feet coming close to the head, move it away and then bring it closer again. Move it away from the head, bring it closer, head reaching back at the same time. Take full exhale and let's release. Okay, face to one side. Feet reaching to the head takes few months of practice so if it's not happening right now, please don't be disappointed. This is also your practice of patience. So if you are losing patience or if you are feeling frustrated because your feet are not reaching, just stay aware of your emotions right now. If you stay aware, you'll be able to work on those emotions. Okay, we'll give it a try one more time. So keep the blanket ready, maybe use blocks under hands if you want to practice that way. Check legs are tight and let's lift chin, chest, navel. 
try walking hands closer to the hips and now let's bend both the knees big toes together and trying to come closer to the crown move feet away and then bring it closer moving feet away bringing it closer head reaching backward if your feet are far away remember we are honoring that space in between feet and head we are not fighting for that space okay relaxing we want to take a few longer exhalation here and we'll give this a try one more time with the wall okay so you might just want to see the practice pause the video and then you try practicing along the video again okay so we are coming close to the wall and maybe place a blanket under the hip bones and then come really close to the wall so your chest and chin touching the wall legs are wide hands on the wall next to chest create a backward bend first just like we did it earlier try bending knees and then see how much you can go close to the crown move feet away bring it closer move it away one more time feet close to the crown crown reaching back exhaling releasing feet releasing hands hips on the heel and we'll just look forward right now taking a few long exhale you can pause the video here maybe rewind and then practice along with the video using the wall you can try it two or three times it'll be difficult to breathe when you practice with the wall but that's how it is it's it's not an easy pose for most of the people including myself once you practice two or maybe three rounds i'll meet you here in child's pose so we are sitting up straight lying down on the back for happy baby position so keep your feet apart knee ankle in one line holding foot from outside or inside and then we want to roll side to side to massage the lower back keep rolling a few more times we'll take a twist here so bring right leg on top of left try crossing the ankle and drop both the knees on the left side okay so right leg is on top both the knees to the left side face on the right side relaxing the back relaxing the shoulder try to take few abdominal breathing here expanding stomach with the inhale relaxing the abdomen with exhale come back center we are switching so bring left leg on top both the knees are bent and drop knees to the left side face turning to right and just notice how this feels on the lower back continue with the abdominal breathing expansion and contraction exhale come back center and we'll take our final shavasana here with the legs open arms open relaxing the neck relaxing shoulder checking how you feel on the spine you might feel 
a little sore tomorrow and that's that's normal that's how it is after practicing deeper backward bend especially if that's not in your practice check legs are open eyes are closed regular practice of full cobra position is going to give you qualities of an adult full grown cobra cobras are very sharp very confident very magnetic and they have the best digestive power so if you practice this position every single day work on the breathing into the posture these are the qualities you are also going to imbibe into you let me know your experience with this pose in the comment section below i'll see you in the next one